everyone. Um, I was going to record some more abduction, but for some reason uh, it wasn't allowing me to. There was too many glitches and too many audio issues. So um, I'm going to show you a game that I've also been playing mostly offline, um, and it is House Flipper. So this is my new office. Um, it's not the starting office that you begin with. You basically start off with a one room, one bathroom room, and this is a nice house. Done all of the, the decorating so far. So this is the front, uh, uh, front hallway. Close the door. And as you can see, I really like color. I don't like too many neutrals and whatnot. And this is the living room and kitchen with all the fancy devices, microwave, coffee maker, no stove, but we've got like one of those gas uh, stove tops, got some nice ceiling fans for some uh, circulation. Over here is the garage and my car, apparently. And then in here, like the, the ha car came with the house. So, and this is the bedroom. It's a nice red orange mix. It's nice and cozy. And this is the bathroom with washing machine, fancy toilet, nice shower. So I like to have color in my house. So what I've done, um, I have done all of the emails. Um, this one has a glitch on it, so I haven't I've got 100% on that yet. I'm just waiting for them to to upload uh, the fix for browser I have purchased two houses that I have not touched yet specifically for a playthrough so there's this one and then there's this one so let's do this one I got some graffiti that I need to deal with obviously Now, I seriously hope that they add um, some lawn tools. Wow, those grass feels so weird. It's like a Photoshop tool gone wrong. Anyway, so this is the untouched house. So I could essentially, you know, wash it like that. Um, but I could also just put new siding on. But I guess that's just as quick. And I've got most of the upgrades, so it cleans up really quickly. It'll take away all the trash within a close vicinity of each other. So this is not a bad bathroom. Not the greatest, but... Can you be salvaged? Probably not. Got lots of fast tidying, fast cleaning. And the other ones on the outside. Okay. Ooh, we don't get this in the store. I may actually use that. I don't know. The table's pretty decent, too. Clean, clean, clean. Close the door. Don't want anyone to see this mess. What's in the cellar? Lots of crap. Oh, this is pretty big. Oh. Can I do a second bathroom down here? Oh, we can. Well, there's, there's a toilet mount. 
And that's it. Okay. Let's get you out of here. There we go. So I can fit a... Oh, I can do a sink down here. Oh, I can do a second bathroom. Excellent. Is there room for washer? Is that what that is? Oh. Oh, okay. I've never done any of these before. Okay, that was easy. So that's all clean. Ooh, no. No, no, no. Just... No. The buyers on the left side of the screen are idiots. One time I made a house that had about four bedrooms and the giant family that's currently on top was not even interested in what I was making. It made absolutely no sense. There we go. Clean up some windows. So I picked this house for the playthrough because there's actually um, plastering that needs to be done. And all of the playthroughs that I've watched, other people playing, have not done any plastering. So let's buy some plaster. Oops. E. And if only it was so easy to plas some plaster something that quickly. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, they'll actually tell you when you've repaired all of the walls. I think I have a few more than just that one room. Oh yeah. Nuts. Huh. Okay. I've never seen one of these, so I've never actually seen the back of one. And it says one meter. Prototype. I wonder if that is going to change with an update. There we go. The plastering can be a little glitchy too. Okay, so that's all the, the holes for the plaster. I kind of like that corner thing, although it's kind of trashy looking probably expect you to to sell it but since you can't buy it I kind of like to use some things sometimes that come with obviously this is broken so I need to get those out of here the lights are pretty three the lights are pretty decent in here and the sink you can't buy that sink either so I'm going to use that one it's also one less thing for me to buy I'll sell you. There we go. So all the windows are clean. And I don't need any more of the plaster because we're all done. Oh, I hate those lights. They look so tacky. I don't mind the square ones. But not quite sure why you'd have both different styles in one room. Don't want to sell the doors, the doors are perfectly fine. Although I usually use white doors inside. Um, these are okay. They're all matched, they all, they're all clean, they're not junky, so I will use them. Although I might redo this one because it's not quite on properly. Okay, 
So there's some there's some dirt somewhere. There we go. Oh, there's some more graffiti. The side of the house isn't too bad, but sometimes I like to put a uh, brick on one side. Is that it for the outside? So, we are going to pick stuff for the bathroom. So we're going to try and keep it nice and bright. Wall tiles. Now these are an absolute pain to put in. And I usually, you know, put gray and a color because it goes well. And we usually buy a few packs because it takes so many of these to do. So I don't know about other people, but I don't have just tile in my bathroom. I have tile and uh, painted walls. So I like to do generally um, the walls with the shower, be tile, and then the other walls painted so that it not as boring. Okay, so I did two and a half walls. It looks pretty nice. Nice and clean. Let's get some paint. Let's get a nice color. Apparently I heard um, in reality you don't want to have a green bathroom because um, if you're doing makeup and stuff then you're gonna have a, a green hue reflecting on your face so you might do your makeup wrong. Um, let's do some sky blue. We'll do some paint. If only could actually paint over tile like this. It's not based on reality. Also, if only could paint this quickly. So this, I'm going to be very careful. Because what I like to do is also get a can of white paint. and paint the window wells white so that they're nice and clean and they reflect a lot of light coming in if this was a real house. There we go. And because there's some um, glitch issues with uh, putting up curtains, I'm going to try and do the curtains first and then put in the um, radiator. So curtains. I'm going to do some short ones so it doesn't interfere and interfere with the um, radiator. I've got some nice blue ones. So probably white. Oh, so yeah, it might be okay. Let's do that. Can you fit? Yes, you can. Good. Nice screw in. And some nice blue curtains. So we do radiator. I usually just do the standard one. There we go. That's all installed. Oh, light switch. Kinda yellow. So we can Replace it with a nice white one. There's nothing wrong with it, but matches everything else now. And now we'll do some floor tiles. And I usually do either the gray ceramic or um, the, the tiny ones. I've got the tiny ones in my bathroom right now, so. And this one, I wish we could do the walls exactly like this. That is amazing. 
but you can't. There we go. Well done. So, bathroom's looking fantastic now. And we'll buy a toilet. Let's go into bathroom. And I wish there was more um, options for putting in tubs. I've only seen one, I think it was one of the tutorial lessons, and there was like the tub mount and that I haven't seen anything else. So let's just do a standard toilet. If only toilets were this easy to install. And you're done. That is so unrealistic. Oh yes, and we also need a toilet paper roll. Do I should put it there? Oh, can I put it on here? How come? I've got it on there in my bathroom. Oops. Fine, I'll put it right there. Now, one of the most annoying things to install are the showers. There's so many bits and pieces, it's so annoying. I'll fast forward it for you guys. You don't have to watch the whole thing. And we're done. That's pretty nice. So the sink looks pretty good. Could probably put a little bit of art in. like to do something that, you know, kind of matches. We'll move this out of the way. Just going to put some carpets down. Um, it's not bad. Not bad. So we'll put it here. And then we'll go for a little round carpet for in front of the shower. Perfect. We'll put it... How about go on the right angle and actually center it? There we go. These things are really bright. If you turn them on, woohoo! But if there's a room next to you sharing the same wall, you'll actually see um, some of the light leaking through the wall. So that's a little glitch right there. So the floors in here, pretty decent. Don't need to to redo them, replace them, anything. While we're at it, why don't we redo this bathroom? So let's live a little and do some blue. This one only has a sink, a toilet, and a washing machine all on like really close together, which makes no sense because this is all free now for whatever. Now, I do hate it when there's so many left over that you're not going to use and you just have to sell them. Better than, you know, having them go to waste, but... We'll do some floor tiles again. We'll do the tiny ones so that all the, the bathrooms match. Not that they need to, but we'll do that. And we'll also get a door because we are kind of missing one. Let's go for doors and we'll match the, the doors upstairs, which I think is this one. I don't think they're the dark, dark brown, so I think we'll do this one. There's a lock on the inside, so we'll do that. There we go. Nice door, which, you know, doors don't work like that, but anyway, we'll do a sink. Do just a simple sink since this is kind of more of a water closet slash laundry. Um, so we'll do bathroom. Just do a simple sink. Or maybe should we do sink with cabinet, sink with cabinet. This one only comes in one color though. And it doesn't exactly match. 
So maybe we'll do this one. And the funny thing is you can't install this one without opening it up, which makes sense. Now this is kind of odd to me. Um, I'm used to having a trap underneath here instead of just like a, a simple pipe that goes like this. I'm used to a U that traps some water in to um, stop escaping gases. So these sinks installations are very odd and in my opinion not too safe, but it's a video game. I'm just gonna you know, go with it. There we go. So there's that. So again, we're going to put in a mirror, a light switch. I just realized that. There we go. So let's see if it works. Boop. Okay. So there's the laundry room slash uh, water closet. So. I kind of want to paint the brick down here, which will take quite a while. The question is what color? You know, we could probably make this maybe like, um, kind of like a living room or a hangout area. Rec room? Also, like, you don't have to get like super tall ladders to paint. I actually did paint houses for for a summer um, to get money when I was unemployed and uh, I never liked doing stairwells. Just because I'm not a fan of precarious heights. If I'm in a building I'm okay. But I guess I'm not as scared of heights so much as scared of falling from them. I kind of want to use these, but if I'm making this a like a hangout area, not really. Ooh, I know. Okay, so we'll get rid of two. And I will put one back. Put it in here. Okay. That's all done. So, ooh, this is nice and bright. I wish I could clean this up, but there's no way to replace it. Kind of looks all trashy. So, wonder, should we take a color hint from that? And we'll do some nice fiery orange to match the rust. And we'll actually just stop right under the stairs because the way that this goes, the top of the stairs will, will show over here and that will look kind of weird. So we will stop right there. And then it doesn't show. Oh, that's bright. Love it. Love it. Okay. So let's do a sofa. Stick with white. This one's on wheels too, so. Maybe just another shadow couch. put in the tables because I imagine there's going to be video games played if the, if the family is interested in this video games and lots of movies do a nice red carpet also need to have 
some ceiling lights. Let's do some halogens. I don't like doing the halogens because they're so hard to line up. And I'm very much a perfectionist. But then again, I have to remind myself it's just a video game. Something like that. That's nice and bright now. Fantastically bright. Just tones down that wall just a little bit. So the family is still quite interested in this... This house. Even though there's not going to be enough bedrooms for them. The AI um, identification is kind of a little weird. I like this one. Light switch. Here. There we go. But we don't need them on. Did I turn this one off? Yes, I did. Okay. So that's a nice hangout place. So this is a tiny house. The um, the AI should be better um, should better identify what the person is putting in the house because obviously all those people will not even fit in this house and yet they're the top bidders for the house so that's a little glitchy so all the window wells are done. Ooh, can I clean that? That's just no. So, let's add a backsplash. Now, unfortunately, we can't do any horizontal um, tiling because that's not how the tiles work. Let's do some black and white, or rather, some gray. So, we're going to. So, I'm going to move these into the bedroom, because I did not like those other lights in the bedroom. And I think having two different style of lights is a little weird. So I might actually have to sell this, which is... I really don't want to, but... Oh well. Bye-bye. I like you. That fits quite nicely, actually. And then with that, we'll put some appliances to the electric cooker. Go for a white and the steel details. Put some cabinets in. They're very chic. They have no doors. Educational books. It's in the kitchen, dude. I'm not a great fan of this color, for lack of a better term. But everything in here is kind of gray. It's 
So we'll do... Now, because it is so black and white and kind of bleh, I'm going to add one of my favorite colors, ripe pear. This kind of corner is a little bit off. I guess. Solid color carpet. Green. That's a little bit better. So put that where you're chopping vegetables and washing dishes because there's no dishwasher. The general rule for painting walls is light sources and also um, if you're having you know windows and you're doing like a two-tone um, walls which I kind of like to do you would put the darker color on the lightest wall so we could do some gray Now, I know a lot of guys might not go for this, but also some guys don't care because when they're in the bedroom, they're usually sleeping, usually, and they're not staring at the walls. So we'll do gray and lavender, do one gray lily, that's actually not bad. I also like dark furniture, so we'll go with that. I'll put the bed here. We'll put the baby over here. Oh, fits perfectly there. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to fit. I'll also get a book. We'll kind of make it match the baby's furniture. Matching to go with their bed. just realized I forgot and a whiteboard now to put the whiteboard for baby related things for the back door Wonder, can you put any furniture out here that would be amazing no. okay This looks pretty good. Okay. I think this house is ready to sell. So. We're working on it for an hour and 36 minutes. Now this guy with the pink hair, he doesn't understand what he needs this kitchen for. 
It's for preparing food, dude. So all of these comments, like, obviously I'm not making the house for them specifically. But, you know, some of their, their complaints, even when I'm making them specifically for them, they're not on the top of the list. So, anyway. I will accept this offer. And now I have just sold a house. That's what the house used to look like, the one that I, I have as my office now. Pretty junky. Looks completely fabu now. And thanks for joining me. That is House Flipper. Um, I completely recommend it for anyone who wants something really laid back and, you know, just having the TV play in the background or, you know, if you have a phone, you can listen to YouTube, you know, other people streaming but I really like it. Um, I've put quite a few hours into it by now. This was House Flipper. Um, it's brand new on Steam, so there's still some glitches to be to iron out, and uh, there's been some complaints on, like, as I said earlier, there's this one um, new, you're doing a kindergarten school, and one of the curtains is literally glitched. You can't you can't put it in some, uh, you can't install it. So y yeah, it's it's a fun game. Um, I've got a pretty decent machine. Apparently there's a lot of people that have glitches. Um, so that you may or may not have issues playing it. But if you wish to check it out, I've had a lot of fun with it. I know a lot of other people have had a lot of fun with it. I think you should check it out if you, you know, want to paint fictional walls. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next video, whichever game I'm playing.